Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is a Top Test TS710 digital light meter. Real simple design, inexpensive. You can buy this between $25 and $30, depending on what Amazon coupons you activate. Uh, it has a large display here. It gives us the temperature, relative humidity, and then either the, um, the light, ambient light hitting this in Lux, or foot candles, so I can go to either one of those. The range is about 0.1 or one-tenth of a lux, all the way up to 200,000. It has a hold feature, so if I'm out of sight, I can, you know, we're holding it in front of some, some light source and I don't want to block anything, I can use that. It also has a backlight, so I can turn that on, so if I'm using it in low light situations, it's easier to read. Um, Min-max, I can operate that, holding the button down, get that on. And then this allows me to either get the minimum um, as a constant reading and the max as a constant reading. You can see there's max, there's min or off, um, which is just an active reading then. Uh, it has a rotation on the um, light sensor. So you can flip this thing around, it might be easier. Why would you want something like this? Well. Obviously, if you are uh, setting up different rooms um, and you want to put a numeral value on the amount of light, and that depends on the kind of room, whether it's my workshop or a home theater, a kitchen, a uh, garage, uh, operating theater, whatever it is, um, that can be helpful to actually put a number on it in order to know whether or not I want to add or subtract light. I can also use it for greenhouse applications, growing plants. Um, or just you want to put a number on, say, is that car headlight very bright? Um, something like this is good for that. Uh, the options, um, there are lots of light meters. They're more expensive ones and, of course, less expensive ones. But, you, but accuracy is important as well as durability. You can spend 90 bucks on a Klein light meter like this ET130. Um, or you can spend less um, on a more questionable product. Top Test has been in the tool world for a while. I've used some of their other products. They sent me this uh, to test out. I've had it for a while. It does work fine. Works great, as a matter of fact. Nice, simple design. Um, I just don't have a huge amount of applications for a light meter, which is why it is uh, important if you need one, uh, maybe to have one versus, you know, think, gosh, someday I'll, I'll have enough uses to spend a bunch of money on one. Um, I used to use them in photography quite a bit. I use it some now setting up, say, the, the, the shooting studios um, that I use. Or uh, I, when I want to um, be aware of how much light, say, my, um, my lighting sources for uh, doing video are actually kicking out because I have different kinds of bulbs. It doesn't measure color temperature. That's a lot more expensive um, and more specialized. Um, but overall, for just general illumination, brightness, putting a number value on something, uh, works great for that. The uh, There is a link down below uh, if you want to inspect something like this further. It comes with batteries and it comes with a small um, a little little bag to protect it. I've left the coating. It comes with a protective coating here. I just cut off the tab on the top so you can actually see we'll see that right there just because I tend to scratch these things up. Anyway, there it is, the Top Test TS710 digital light meter. And with that, dock out.